welcome back to another vlog. So today is actually Friday. Today's a fun little day. It's actually Friday evening and I'm on my way to a cooking class actually. So I'm on my way to a cooking class. I figured it'd be really fun to take you guys along with me. I really hope that they let me vlog because I think it'd be very fun and I haven't gone to a cooking class uh, before. Well, I took cooking courses in like school but i've never taken an actual cooking course outside of school so i figured this would be fun and i love to cook and you guys love my cooking portions so figured why not so want to give you guys a quick little outfit of the day and then we're gonna head out so for outfit today i decided to wear pretty much just some jeans and this tank top you guys have seen this in my june favorites it's from h and m and i say these are like so great because they're super comfortable it's cotton it's kind of like thicker uh, material and this is actually just a top so i i tucked it in but they do have body seats for these so this is what I'm wearing up top. I have my jeans from Hollister and I am wearing my sneakers. These are my Nikes. I'm so glad that I can actually wear sneakers, um, even though I'm a heels girl, but I'm just glad that I have the option. And I am just throwing on this blazer that I got from Shein, just in case if it gets cold. And I'm gonna pair it with my Alma BB. I figured this would be a nice um, color combination with the browns white and a little touch of blue with the jeans. For fragrance, I'm wearing the, I think it's Oriental Vetiver, inspired by the Bal Afrique um, by Byradal. So that's what I'm wearing. It's a very fresh set and I do like it a lot, especially when I have like white t-shirts or jeans or when I'm just more casual, I like to wear it. So I actually have it in here and this is what it looks like. I think I talk about this like all the time, guys. I am obsessed with Dacia fragrances, so you guys are going to be seeing a lot of them on my channel. That's pretty much it. I'm going to head out and I'll see you guys later. Crossing my fingers that they will let me. So if you want to spread around, spread around, what happens as these garlic chips start to fry and get brown, that's what the napkin's for. We're going to add our garlic and our eventually capers. So once you get the garlic on your napkin, put them on half and put the capers on the other half. So this is my oil spill for the day. Extra virgin olive oil, that's our darker oil. Vegetable oil, this is our lighter oil. Why is this stuff $5 a gallon? You go to the grocery store, $5, maybe $6 a gallon. If I go to a grocery store, I'm paying $10 for a two cups. That's an eighth of a gallon. If you get it imported, you may be paying $60 for two cups. Why is it so much more expensive? The people who grow the extra virgin olive oil and press it and cold press it and make it, they do not apply heat to it. It's all about not applying heat. If you're at home cooking with your extra virgin olive oil, you're wasting your money and wasting your oil. Extra virgin olive oil is not made for cooking. It is made for flavoring. We have four taste profiles on our tongue. Sweet, uh, uh, salty, sweet, bitter, sour. Extra virgin olive oil is bitter. That's why when we make salad dressing, we like to have that bitterness in there. When we make a sauce, we like to do that pesto. A prime example, we add a lot of oil in the pesto. And last but not least, marinades. If you want to use oil for flavor, extra virgin olive oil is the way to go. If you need to heat that oil up in any way, do not use extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil is good. EVO, save yourself money, save yourself time. You do not need a extra virgin olive oil. It's not made for that. Do you like to put the coconut oil? Uh, my favorite two are avocado and grapeseed. So those have the highest, ten of the highest smoke points. And then uh, grapeseed is flavor neutral. So if you don't mind the avocado, go for avocado, go flavor neutral. Go for grapeseed. Okay.
Cooking pasta was much harder than it is, but it's really not that bad. So I'm gonna be trying this at home because it's a lot of fun and it's not that bad. So that's what we're doing now. I kind of want to give you guys a little update because um, I know I just kind of started cooking, but it's a lot of fun. So here are the ingredients that we're going to be using. And this is the pasta that we um, kind of rolled up and cut up earlier. And then this is our oil here that we're going to use to make salad dressing. Yes. And then we have all the ingredients for our sauce. If you want to pull it closer to you, you can take the lids off of every day. We'll talk about it, then we'll get started. So I just want to say a huge thank you to Julia and Amanda. Um, so we were partnered up on a team together and we're cooking. They were there to celebrate their friend's birthday and we ended up working together and cooking and I had such a fun time and I just want to say thank you ladies for blogging and letting me take footage and being such a good sport. I had a really fun time. We learned a lot. We had lots of laughs and just really enjoyed it. such a fun time learning how to cook from a professional shelf and just having that hands-on experience. It was definitely one of the funnest activities I've done in a while and you guys know I like to cook so I will be taking a lot more cooking classes and I will be learning and perfecting my craft because I really enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy this cooking class special vlog and I just want to say thank you for 3,000 subscribers. Thank you for 3,000 beauties. I appreciate every single one of you. Hope you enjoy this video and I will see you beauties in my next video.